right, so lesson 53 is on the decimal chart and simplifying fractions. So here, we just have the cues to remember what to do for if different operations with decimals. So for example, if I'm adding or subtracting, the cue is line up. You just line up the decimals. Okay. For multiplying, you multiply, then count. So you multiply the number, then count how many decimal places there are. With dividing by a whole number, the cue is up. Okay, you just move the decimal straight up. And if you're dividing by a decimal number, the cue is over, over, up, which means you move the decimal over here, over here, and then move it up to your answer. Okay, so the second part is just simplifying fractions. So here we have 4, 6 plus 5, 6. So we add those together and we get 9, 6. Now there's two ways I can solve this answer. The first way is to reduce this fraction first. If I reduce the fraction, I end up getting 3 halves. I then need to change that into a mixed number. So 2 goes into 3 one time, and there's 1 left over, so my answer is 1 and 1 half. The second way to do it is to convert it to a mixed number first and then reduce. So do that, I would change my 9, 6 into a mixed number, which would be 1 and 3, 6, and then reduce. So then I get 1 and 1 half. I find it's easier to reduce first, especially later on when we start multiplying different fractions and larger fractions. So that would be my suggestion. So on this one, we have 10 twelfths plus 5 twelfths. My answer is 15 twelfths. Now, you won't get full points for this one. You will need to reduce and convert it. So I'm going to reduce first. So if I reduce, I end up dividing the top and the bottom by 3. Okay, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now I can change it into my mixed number, and that will be 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, and that's it. Good luck on your homework.